Hello and welcome back to the action this afternoon here at the Olympic Oval for the Olympic Oval Finale. This is the second 500 meter ladies race of the weekend. We just missed the first pair, which was Heather McLean and Sugar Todd. Heather McLean won that pair with a time of 37.76. Sugar Todd skated a 38.55. This is our second pair, Nan Sun in the inner lane and Noemi Fisse in the outer lane. Nan Sun from China, Fisse from Quebec. Fisse won the opener with a 10.92. 11-1 for Nan, and they are neck and neck down this home stretch. Looks like Nan is actually pulling away her final time, 38-53, 38-84 for Fisse. As we look now at our third pair, this is Shannon Rempel from Manitoba in the inner lane and Huai Li from China in the outer. The air pressure here in Calgary is 1019 and dropping. The lower that air pressure goes, the faster the ice usually is. So expect some faster times throughout the afternoon here. Very close through the opener, 10.90 for both skaters. Rempel and Huai. As they now come into the home stretch, neck and neck, Shannon Rempel and Lee Huai. They're gonna kick the line. 100 apart. 300 apart. Shannon Rempel takes it. 3864. Huai Lee. 3867. We're running 26 pairs before our first flood. This is our fourth pair. Reening Tian from China and Paige Schwartzberg from the United States. Each wearing their respective national suits. Opening time for Reening Tiang. 10.84, 10.94 for Schwartzberg. Skaters drive down the finishing stretch. Ri Ning Tiang will take this race. Her final time, 38-68. 39-32 for Schwartzberg. Up next, Rebecca Bradford and Jerrica Tandeman, two American skaters in our fifth pair. Rebecca Bradford wearing the old national team skin suit for the United States. Notice the sponsor on her left thigh. That is the Colbert Report. Stephen Colbert sponsored the U.S. national team in the lead up to the Sochi Olympics. Identical openers, 11.09 for both skaters as they cross over on the backstretch. Both looking strong. Good weight transfer from both skaters as they enter this final corner. And they will be neck and neck down this home stretch. Rebecca Bradford will take this one. Her final time, 39.06, 39.24 for Jerrica Tandeman. Fastest time in the morning was Heather McLean. 37.76 is the time to beat. Up 
Up next, we have Roxanne Van Hemmert from the United, sorry, from the Netherlands, and Beatrice Lamarche from Quebec. Both skaters looking strong through 100 meters. Opening splits 10.95, 11.2 for Lamarche. Any ladies opener under 11 seconds very fast. <coughs> See if Roxanne Van Hemmert can carry that speed in through the rest of her lap. Or can La Marche make up the ground as they rocket out of the final corner and down the final stretch. Roxanne Van Hemmert will take this race. 39.21 her final time. Beatrice La 39.66. Now we have two Chinese skaters in our seventh pair. This is Xining Yang in the inner lane and Dan Bai in the outer. <laughs> and they are now underway down this first 100 meters. During a 100 meter opener, the skaters try to transition from quick choppy strides into full skating strides by the end of the straightaway. <laughs> Opening splits identical, 11 0 4. Anyone's race at this point, it looks like Dan Bai coming on the inner lane has the advantage, although she is struggling to hold this last corner. But she will come out ahead into the final stretch. It is close though, kicking the line. Dan Bai will take it. 39 41, 39 43 for Xing Yang. Up next, our eighth pair in the inner lane from BC, it's Carolina Hiller. And in the outer lane from Poland, Kaja Ziomek. And a false start in that pair. So they will try again. The next false start will result in a disqualification. Skaters will have to be careful now as they try again. Interesting contrast in skate and starting position between those two skaters. Also in skating positions, Hiller's shoulders are further down than Zeomex. Speed skating is fairly unique in that there are lots of different ways of skating. And you will see skaters of different speeds and different techniques skate very the same as we have few technical difficulties here coming into our final stretch. This is Ziomek who's going to lead the way her final time. 39-14, 39-49 for Hiller. Some skaters swing their arms with their elbows bent. Some skaters arch their back. Other skaters round their back. There's no one way of skating fast. Look at these starts. One skater will do a down start, the other standing up. This is Rike Jepsen on the right-hand side of your screen in the inner lane. She's racing Abigail McCluskey in the outer lane. 11-0 opener for Jepsen McCluskey, 11-2. Rike Jepsen, a quick opener. Let's see if she can carry that through her lap as they cross over on the back stretch. Abigail McCluskey trying to hold this inner corner. And she does really well because she is side by side with Rike Jepsen on this home stretch. 
But I think Ricky Jepsen will hold her off. Her final time, 39.49. 39.75 for McCluskey. Up next, Alexandra Yankulescu from Romania in the inner lane. And Xin Miao Zhang from China in the outer. Clean start for both skaters, and they are through 100 meters. Xin Miao Zhang leading the way. 11-12, 11-2 for Alexandra and Glescu. When these skaters try to stay low on this backstretch, that Xin Miao Zhang chewing up her pair in this last corner as she comes out ahead into the final 100 meters. Zhang's final time, 39.83. Yen Kulescu, 40.05. As we are now moving on to our 11th pair, this is Sarah Spence from BC in the inner lane, Madison Pierman from Alberta in the outer. If you want to look at a pairs list, go to oval.ucalgary.ca slash competitions. Clean start in our 11th pair. This is Spence and Pierman. Spence in the inner lane, white armband. Pierman in the outer, and it is Pierman winning the opener. 11 2, 11 4 for Sarah Spence. Pierman on the outer with a faster opener. A set herself up for a big draft on that backstretch. And she sat right behind Sarah Spence for the full 100 meters. And she will use this to try and skate a quick time. Madison Pierman coming to the line. Her final time, 39.69, 40.68 for Sarah Spence. Up next, it's Allison Bates from Great Britain in the inner lane. She's racing Anne-Marie Gulbrunson from Norway in the outer. And they're underway. It looks like Gulbrunson has the lead through 100. She wins the opener, 11-3, 11-5 for Bates. As they cross over on the backstretch, Bates moving to the outer lane, Gulbrunson moving to the inner. Both skaters keeping their hips in in the corner, doing a good job of that. And they come out neck and neck. Anyone's race, but it will be Gulbrunson winning this one. 40.58, 40.71 for Bates. As we move on to our next pair, this is Si Shan Li from China, racing Julia Roth from Alberta in the outer lane. Good start for both skaters. Si Shan Li may be popping up a little bit off the line. If the body position goes too high off the start, the skaters risk putting their energy into bobbing up and down rather than moving forwards. We will have an interesting crossover in this backstretch as Julia Roth goes over the top of Lee Si Shan and into this final corner. Julia Roth is flying. 10.96 was her opener. That's very fast. Julia Roth to the finish line. Her final time, 
for Li Xishan. In our next pair, in the inner lane, it's Andrea Dodic from Alberta. She's racing Caroline Gingra from Quebec. And a slow reaction that time from Caroline Gingra. Maybe she thought that her pair had false started. Dodic just got a great jump on that gun as Dodic will win that opener handily, 11-5, 11-7 for Gingra. Gingra has got some time to make up here through the rest of her lap. And Gingra has closed the gap, and she has now taken the lead. On the home stretch, Caroline Gingra will win this race. Her final time 40 73, Dodic 40 92. This is our 15th pair. We will be taking a break after pair 26. This is our 15th pair. Brooklyn McDougall from Alberta in the inner lane and Veronique Dady from Quebec in the outer. Both skaters wearing Canada suits, having competed at Junior Worlds. McDougall won the opener, 11-3. 11-4 is Veronique Dady's opening time. As Dady did a good job of continuing her crossovers right into the straightaway coming out of that corner. Although she had to put a hand down in this tight inner corner at the end. And they are neck and neck. McDougal and Dady coming to the line. It will be McDougal taking this race. 40-81 her final time. 40-96 for Veronique Dady. As we look at our next pair, this is Florence Saint-Jean in the inner lane from Quebec. She's racing Femke Marcus from the Netherlands in the outer lane. Clean start for both skaters. Both moving their feet very quickly through this 100 meters. 11.35 for Saint-Jean. Marcus, 11.61. They will cross over on the backstretch. Saint-Jean won that opener, but Marcus is coming on strong. Does she have enough on the lap to beat her pair? It looks like Femke has pulled ahead to the line. Her final time, 41.01, 41.15 for Saint-Jean. Up next, a battle of the prairies. Alexa Scott from Manitoba in the inner lane. Gabrielle Sanson from Saskatchewan in the outer. These girls are underway through 100 meters. That is Sanson leading 11-3, her opener, 11-6 for Scott. So on the outer lane, Sanson setting herself up for a good draft, although she decided to go right by. And Sanson will lead the way into the last corner. She has taken a commanding lead in this 500 meter over her pair. As both skaters are on the finishing stretch now, Gabrielle Sanson will win this pair. 40-79 is her final time. 41-56 for Alexa Scott.
We are now moving on to our 18th pair. Katja Lutz from Switzerland in the inner lane and Sumia Uyentogok from Mongolia. And it's close through 100 meters. It looks like it is Uyan Tok who's going to win this one. 11.8, 11 11.89, 11 400 meters to go, though. Both skaters looking low and strong on that backstretch, entering the final corner. And on the strength of her opener, Uyan Tok has maintained her lead. She will come to the line and finish with a final time of 41.68. Katya Lutz, 42.48. Up next, a cross-country battle. This is Taylor White from Ontario in the inner lane. She's racing Kira Polzer from Alberta in the outer. And a false start right away at the beginning of this race. False start was charged to the inner lane. She may have set up her position with her blade over the line. Both skaters will have to be careful now. This is Taylor White and Kira Polzer. And they are underway, cleaning the second time. White taking a slight lead. But Polzer pulled away by the end of that 100. 11-4 her opener. 11-74 for White. So Polzer setting up for a good draft here. She's shorter than Taylor White as well, so she might be able to use a big tall athlete in front of her. But she just blew right by Kira Polzer in the inner lane is going to take this race as they come down the final 100 meters. They're looking for a good time. Kira Polzer, 40.91, 41.98 for Taylor White. Up next, we have our 20th pair. This is Jill Ewan from Alberta in the inner lane. She is racing Miriam Labidzi from Quebec in the outer. Notice Jill Ewan wearing timing straps around her ankles. Those have little magnets in them that pick up wires underneath the ice, and her coach can see her lap times. Openers, 11.71 for Lagzi. Ewan, 1177. Jill Ewan's armband flew off right off the line. Their first arm swing. Volunteer picked that up off the ice, so neither athlete will crash. Skaters wear armbands so that the referees know which lane they are supposed to be in at all times. Labidzi will take this race in commanding fashion. 41-44, her final time. Yuen, 42-82. Up next in the inner lane from Norway, we have Ida Sanderud. Her pair is Rose La Liberté Roi from Quebec. And a clean start in this pair. It is close through 100, though it looks like La Liberté Roi will take this opener. 11-5, 12-0 for Sanderud. Crossing over on this back stretch. La Liberté Roi blowing right by Ida Sanderud. 
And La Liberté Roi on a good one here. We'll finish strong. With 50 meters to go. La Liberté Roi has a 10 to 20 meter advantage. Her final time, 41.54. 42.68 for Sandra. In our next pair, we have two skaters from Alberta. It's Jenna Mirth in the inner lane and Connie Kapak in the outer. So Mirth and Kapak are off the line and underway. Both skaters transitioning into full skating strides as, strides as they go through 100 meters. Kapak, 11.58. 11.89 for Mirth. The 500 meter is a one and one quarter lap race. Skaters change lanes once on the backstretch. So k -Pack, who started on the outer, will finish on the outer in first. Her final time, 41.89, 42.98 for Mirth. This is our next pair, Sierra Johnson from Ontario in the inner. She's racing Renske Winters from the Netherlands. These skaters underway, the bell goes, one lap remaining, opening splits, 11-8 for Winters. Johnson, 11-9. Now on the backstretch, Sierra Johnson and Renske Winters. Johnson's moving to the outer lane, and Winters charging into the inner. It looks like if she can hold this corner, she will win this pair. 500 meter, the skaters try to find a balance between leg speed and pressure. Winters winning this pair, 42-48, 42-98 for Sierra Johnson. If you watch the skaters' technique, you may see some skaters moving their legs very quickly but not getting any pressure or speed with each stride. Other skaters... It'll look like their feet are moving through molasses, but they push really hard with each stroke. This is Laurence Paquet and Danielle Zumuchel here in our 24th pair. After this one, two pairs to go. Zumuchel takes this opener 12.04, 12.07 for Paquet. And into the final corner, these two skaters were neck and neck through 100. Who had the faster lap? It looks like Danielle Zumuchel, who will take this race her final time. 42-62, 43-39 for Paquette. Two pairs remaining before we take a break to Zamboni the Ice. This is Sophie Pett from Alberta in the inner and Jasmine Chase from Ontario in the outer. And they are underway cleanly in this 25th pair, Pett and Chase. Sophie Pett will win the opener, 12-4. 12-7 for Chase. Every time these skaters skate on the backstretch, we get a small view of the wall of champions here at the Olympic Oval. Skaters such as Christina Groves, Jeremy Weatherspoon, Clara Hughes, Susan Ock, and Katrina LeMaydone. All Olympic medalists for Canada. 
as Pet will take this finish by a hair, 45-46, 45-47 for Chase. That was a close race. This is now our final pair before the flood. Erin Bartlett from the United States is racing her compatriot, Carlin Schoutens. Both skaters looking strong through 100. Schoutens with the fastest opener, 11.6, 11.8 for Bartlett. As they cross over with 200 meters remaining, Bartlett and Schoutens. It'll be a close finish as Aaron Bartlett's coming on strong through the lap here. Shouten's won the opener, but Bartlett will win the lap and win the race. Her final time, 41.06, 41.33 for Shouten's. We will now have a, fr a flood blink. We will be back at 1.45 with more action. Fastest time, sorry, 1.50 Mountain Standard Time. With more 500-meter action, fastest time of the morning was Heather McLean. <laughs> 